Getting some breaking news, a major global medical breakthrough for thalassemia patients. The US drug regulator FDA has now approved a new drug that could dramatically reduce dependence on lifelong blood transfusions. Thalassemia, a genetic blood disorder, causes severe chronic anemia and forces patients into frequent transfusions and compli complications like iron overload. Now, this new oral drug offers fresh hope for a transfusion-free life and better quality of living. While the approval is a big leap, the drug is yet to reach India, raising hopes and expectations among thousands of patients and families. So this is a major global medical breakthrough for the thalassemia patients. The US drug regulator, which is the FDA, has now approved a new drug that could dramatically reduce a patient's dependence on lifelong blood transfusions. And thalassemia, a genetic blood disorder, causes severe chronic anemia and forces patients into fre frequent transfusions and also complications like iron overload. Now, this new oral drug offers fresh hope for a transfusion-free life and also a better quality of living for the patients. While the approval is a big loop, the drug is yet to reach India, but it has still raised hopes and expectations among thousands of patients and families worldwide. So that's a game changer moment for uh, the patients of uh, thalassemia and uh, as the US FDA has given a nod to this oral drug. Now let's take a look at uh, this development. So the US has approved mitapivet uh, first oral medicine for thalassemia. Now this treats underlying problem in red blood cells, not just the symptoms. Now that's a key point of this medicine that it uh, it works on the underlying uh, underlying problem uh, in the red blood cells and not just the symptoms of. Uh, uh, this disease. This is a, a big breakthrough for the patients dependent on lifelong blood transfusions and thalassemia patients now uh, need regular bl blood transfusions and that is what they will be independent from after this uh, oral drug uh, uh, comes into effect and this oral drug can improve survival and quality of life as well. So US FDA has now given a nod to this oral drug. It's a breakthrough moment for the thalassemia patients who are dependent on regular blood transfusions. Now this oral drug can uh, also improve their survival and quality of life as this works on the root issue, uh, the underlying issue in the red blood cells and not just the symptoms. We're now being uh, joined by Dr. Professor Dr. Sanjeev Bagai, who's a chairman of Nephron Clinic uh, and senior consultant pediatrician and nephrologist as well. Dr. Away, good morning to you. A big breakthrough uh, moment for uh, the thalassemia patients. How is this oral drug going to be a game changer? Yeah, good, good morning. So I think uh, uh, thalassemia is a uh, dysfunction of the beta proteins which are produced in the body. It is of three types. It is of uh, what we call as thal minor, uh, in which it is non-blood transfusion dependent. You have an intermediate, and then you have a thal major, which is almost always invariably blood transfusion dependent, almost every three to four weeks. And these, unfortunately, children don't live very long, well beyond the first decade. So any medication which uh, deals with the synthesis of the beta proteins at the bone marrow level that means it regulates the metabolism of the protein to have better synthesis and better hemoglobin production would definitely be a game changer. What happens really with regular blood transfusions is that the children generally have a huge amount of iron overload and deposition in the body. And then subsequently, they have to undergo what we call as chelation therapy. That means to remove the excess iron. So it's an ongoing uh, uh, distress for the child and the family blood transfusions every month, and then chelation therapy over a period of time, plus a, a duration of life is grossly shortened, school performance dips, overall mental performance dips. So anything which can correct it at the root cause is definitely most welcome. Right. And what could be the life-term health benefits as the patients will now be avoiding lifelong transfusions? Yeah, so there are multiple benefits. One is, of course, a cost impact because blood transfusions every month uh, is not very cheap. Point number two is that the blood transfusions, even though the blood is screened for HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, 
and other viruses. But if the blood transfusion is screened uh, before the blood transfusion, if the blood is screened in the window period, that means the virus may not be picked up or detected in the in the screening. That poses a threat of viral infections uh, transmission through blood transfusion. And three, of course, is the long-term impact of the quality of life and the life of, uh, of the child. So if we can give a better quality of life, a longer duration of life to a child, the child can go to school as normal, can play sports as normal, the faces and the look of the child is normal, it will be wonderful. Also, doctor, can there be any unforeseen uh, side effects and comp complications also associated with this oral drug? See, any medication has certain uh, uh, certain effects uh, which are not al aligned with the performance of the drugs for its benefit. But I'm sure that the, the benefits will clearly outweigh the small disadvantages. And this is a new medication. So over a period of time, we will see what kind of clinical results we have. What are the side effects we have seen? They will be multicentric cohort studies, data release. So we will deal with that when it comes to it. One last question, doctor. When can India expect to have this medicine? A few months, I think, at least. There would be Indian trials for sure. ICMR would conduct Indian trials, uh, probably six to eight months or nine months. Uh, the, the, the effects, if it has been FDA approved in US, uh, will be distinctly good. But we need to test it in Indian population before mass use. All right, uh, Dr. Bagai, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast and uh, for giving those uh, details on this game changer drug for thalassemia. And uh, what doctor also mentioned that the wait of India could end in just two months as there could be trials and then India could also get this game changer drug for thalassemia.